at the Globe Post matchup tonight, Doris. Two of the top big men in the league going head to head. Kevin, these are two teams that try to get their centers as many touches as possible. They are the axis upon which these offenses rotate, and how much the defense can guard that entry pass will be a key tonight. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. Smart in the backcourt with Brown to his side. And it's Williams at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now Smart after the missed three from Clay Thompson. Outside Tatum from deep three-point range. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Williams gets the bucket. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the board. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Curry finds Thompson. Wiggins against Horford. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. The Celtics have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And you got to appreciate how much Robert Williams just gets after it on defense. You really do because he wants to block every single shot that goes up. He hits the glass now with a level of aggression after being challenged by his coaching staff. And goodness, his teammates love his energy. As great as he is as a scorer, what we know unequivocally about Stephen Curry is he wants to find his teammates. Horford, no luck. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Curry against Smart. Curry passes to Poole. And a miss there on the triple. Boston's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Curry against Smart. Here's Tatum. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. We know that Jason Tatum is a gamer. This guy willing to take punishment on his way to the cup. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Yeah, and he wasn't someone you wanted to foul if you were defending him last season. 85% is what he made from the line. Williams with the block. And the reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection to deny shooters. Thompson dishes to Wiggins. Off target from three-point range. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Smart kicks to Tatum. Inside, Williams. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Williams has got his second bucket of the night. You know, still a raw talent, but Williams does have a reliable inside game that continues to get better. Wiggins against Horford. Out to Thompson. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Celtics leading by six. Smart passes to Brock. And here's Tatum for three. Trains the three-pointer. Tatum's got six. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. Now here's Wiggins. Back to Thompson. To the inside. And stolen by Horford. Here's Smart. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. GA with their fourth title. The combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green. The single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time. The, the most wins in the finals ever by a trio who've each made an all-NBA team. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Doris, this Celtics team, very young. How are they doing? In consecutive drafts, they drafted two talented and elite two-way players. That's Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. And so, yes, both guys are young, as is the entire core. But the fact is, they've matured together, they've had deep playoff runs, and they remain dangerous. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Clay Thompson. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Jordan Poole. Now Kaminga after Jalen Brown's three-pointer that didn't go. Oh, 
Passes it to Pritchard. Pass to Brogdon. Brown outside. And no good that time. The Warriors go the other way. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Green with a screen for Curry. The feed now to Green. Put on the bucket. Well, at this point, if you get the ball into Steph Curry's hands, good things will happen. He's toying with the defense out of the pick and roll. Brown feeling it out a bit. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Kaminga kicks to DiVincenzo. Boston foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. First personal foul. Second team foul. The throw drop for DiVincenzo. And the Celtics making a change here. And so DiVincenzo nails both of them. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Celtics out in front. Up four. Five from Chase. Give it up. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. Guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for Boston? And right from the jump, they've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. The two Williams are the four and the five. White is out there with Brogdon, and it's Tatum in at the small forward position. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks, guys. Now, Marcus Smart is not shy with his philosophy. He says it takes little talent to play defense, but a whole lot of want to. Get every 50-50 ball, take charges, be a great teammate, compete, never be okay with losing. And Kevin, he has always walked the walk, too. He has. Defensive player of the year. He's a terrific player. No question about it. David, thank you. Yeah, what a great decision by Jason Tatum. That passing ability is important to complement his scoring ability. Thompson from long range. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And during his rookie year, Jason Tatum faced off with LeBron in the Eastern Conference Finals. G.A., think about what a hard-fought series that was. It went the Distance to seven games for Tatum, an incredible test and growing opportunity. To me, that's part of the preparation this guy has received to becoming that franchise player. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Higgins is checked in for Kevon Looney. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. Marcus Smart comes in for Derek White. Thompson outside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Offense has become a focal point in the NBA. We know that. And Doris, is there a place still in this league for defensive specialists? Undoubtedly, Kevin. Look no further than the NBA champion Golden State Warriors. Gary Payton II played that role to a hilt. He made the difference between winning and losing when it mattered most. Elite perimeter defense is always in demand. Tatum no good. Warriors trail by four. Wiggins finds Poole. Back to Wiggins. Who's watching him? Count the basket. Wiggins has got five points so far. Well, he's got the wide shoulders, the natural balance. Andrew Wiggins taking the hit and finishing. And here's Tatum for three. And no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Wiggins passes to Poole. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Tatum kicks to Smart. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. The pass to Horford. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Tatum. Williams trying to break free. 
Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And some changes here for the Warriors. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Wiseman. And Curry subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. Then for the Celtics, Alinari, he's checked in for Williams. Jalen Brown comes in for Tatum. And it's Pritchard in for Malcolm Brogdon. Boy, it is so obvious that shooting with range comes naturally to Stephen Curry. But that's hours upon hours of shooting the basketball to get there. Brown, good. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Thompson for three. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Clay Thompson is not about to let a three go unanswered. Big-time shot. Guys, you think about the Boston Celtics, and obviously the offense is driven by the two Jays. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So much of what Boston does starts with their wing play. And so Green will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Curry finds Thompson. For three. Jalen Brown with the rebound. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Smart passes to Brown. And he overshot that one, missing. Golden State's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Wiggins up top. He's covered by Brown. Pool the pass to Wiggins. And that one drops for him. Wiggins has got the lead up to three now for the Warriors. How about that concentration from Andrew Wiggins? He refuses to give in to the defense. What a finish. Smart wide open. He fires. Traps in the tray. Smart's got his first three points of the game. Curry way outside. No good on the last second attempt there. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Golden State. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Clay Thompson with a strong contribution so far in this one. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column? Through two quarters, he has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. The three great shooters out there for him. Curry and Poole in the backcourt with Thompson at the three. Raymond Green is out there with Wiggins. So that's the group out there for Golden State. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. They had a nice score that came from just attacking the rim. Huge play in this hotly contested game. And Stephen Curry with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Team foul. So it's Boston now. Tatum finds Smart. There's the try. Wiggins knocks it loose. Uh, using every bit of that seven-foot wingspan, Wiggins airmailing it back. Poole the pass to Curry. Now here's Thompson. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Thompson's got 11 points. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Smart dishes to Brown. Williams, a screen on Poole. Here's Brown, got a piece of it. On its way from Curry for two. Pass to Thompson. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Poole. 
rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Guys, I know we've discussed this many times, but I don't think statistics really reflect Al Horford's true value. This guy is a terrific player and a pro's pro. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Kevon Looney is checked in for Wiggins. Kaminga comes in for Thompson. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Jordan Poole. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Curry kicks it to Looney. Stolen by Brogdon. Passes it to Smart. Tatum with it. Curry with the steal. Now the Warriors moving it up from downtown. And Tatum pulls it down. Boston trailing. Back to Smart for the lead. It counts. And the foul. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. Have you ever notice the physicality? That's an aspect of Marcus Smart's game. He just powers through the defense. Sensational shooting. James Wiseman, he's checked in for Green. Then for the Celtics, Williams, he's checked in for Horford. And Derek White subbed in for Tatum. Looney finds Wiseman. Now Kaminga launches it. The rebound by Brogdon for Malcolm Brogdon. He comes from a family, Greg, where education comes first. Well, Malcolm earning his degree plus a master's while in college. His dad and brother lawyers. His mom involved in higher education. Brogdon may be the smartest guy in the NBA. Marcus Smart is one of those guys you want in the trenches. He brings great effort on the defensive end every night, and he's a willing shooter at the most critical moments. Pass to Brogdon. Six on the shot clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Good. Eight points for Williams. Well, Malcolm Brogdon's communication with guys on the floor is just terrific. What a nice pick and roll opportunity created by him. And some changes here for the Celtics. Alan Ari, he's checked in for Robert Williams. And it's Pritchard in for Marcus Smart. Here's Curry. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. The Warriors shoot their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. The pass to Brogdon. Williams a screen. And that one's good, Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon a little bit crafty on the interior, getting that one down. There's a minute 34 left in the third. Yes, that goes in. Curry's got nine. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. To the paint, there's Williams. And Williams with the stuff. But Danilo Gallinari, obviously much more known as a scorer, but how about the court vision there? Warriors trail by four. Curry with it. He's got nine. And finished off by Weissman. Incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Alinari outside. I'm deep. Warriors with the rebound. Looney finds DiVincenzo. It's good. This game is all even. And that's almost automatic anytime he can get the ball in that position. Austin's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Pass to White. So here's Gallinari. Passes to Brogdon. And he makes good on the layup. Brogdon's got four points now in the quarter. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Well, Curry, despite his frame, is able to do a ton of damage inside the paint. He can draw fouls with great regularity. They'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. 
and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line, not missing their chances when they get them. Here's Tatum. Tries again, and it's good on the way in. Tatum's got 11 points. That's a case where the reach of Jason Tatum comes into play, understanding, let me go hit the offensive glass, and you get rewarded for it. Yeah, he shot the ball well enough to keep his team even. Let's see if together they can elevate past that. It's a tie game in San Francisco. Give it up for your Warriors. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure pad basketball. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. And it's Smart in at the one spot. Thompson against Tatum. Thompson in the post. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And it's Williams with the ball for the Celtics. Tatum no good. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Wiggins, a screen on Smart. They kick it out to Green to take the lead. And Boston with the rebound. Williams has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Brown the pass to Orford. Boy, not on the same page there. And in a possession ball game, that's a big mistake. And the Warriors making a change here. Even Genzo's checked in. The Warriors shooting about 42% so far. Thompson dishes to Green. Thompson passes to Green. Back to Thompson. To the middle. Shot clock at six. Green in the post. He's against Williams. Williams with the block. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Here's Brown, and then Brown with the dunk. Oh, don't you love how unselfish Marcus Smart is? Sees the open man, whips the pass over in just the right amount of space. Green with a screen on Smart. Even Genzo passes to Green, and denied, he sends it right off the glass. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Unable to get the ball in bounds, they get called for the five-second violation. Timeout called the Warriors. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. He told them to stick with it. He said, this game is right here, guys. This is our game to take. Precision, purpose, and poise. Never will see if they can get it All right, David, thanks. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. Such a clutch shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. Green with a screen for Thompson. Dishes to Green. The rebound by the Celtics. Williams has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Tatum kicks to Smart. Brown outside. A three-pointer off the mark. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Well, this is the ethos that Clay Thompson plays with. He is a great scorer, but he's willing to give it up. Two minutes remaining in the game. Brown outside. Pass to Horford. And finished off by Horford. This guy is always poised, always ready to deliver. Doesn't matter how tense 
close the game is. Timeout called for Warriors. They're trailing by three. 149 left in the fourth quarter. Curry's checked in for the Warriors. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Boston. Curry hits to Wiggins. 141 left in the fourth. And it's sent back by Horford. Well, this is how Al Horford gets it done as a rim protector. His anticipation and his positioning are exceptional. And they get it back. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Celtics. And they've been active defensively, rotating well, and, and then also closing out on shots. It's resulted in a number of blocks. The other thing that jumps out about their performance tonight, the amount of steals really pressuring those ball handlers. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Warriors trail by eight. Wiggins, a screen on Smart, to the paint, to end the run, and it's Wiggins with the jam. One of the reasons the scouts loved Wiggins, he always finds a way to deliver in big-time moments. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're leading by six. And uh, 101 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Smart. Now here's Tatum. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Horford against Wiggins. Six to shoot. They grab their own miss. Outside to Brogdon. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Game could be on the line right here. It's now or never. Curry dishes to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Over Tatum. Wiggins finds Curry. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Steph Curry so cool under pressure. Big moment. No matter. He's ready. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're ahead by three. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the fourth. I've been the pass to Tatum. And they commit an intentional foul. You see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game. Smart against Curry. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Man, it took forever for them to commit that foul. I don't know why they didn't do it right away. Those are precious seconds. When you're in these situations, the players you want at the free throw line, they have to have a level of fearlessness. Welcome to the party, Mr. Smart. Timeout called the Warriors. They trail by four. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Eleven seconds left in the game. Good! And that shot brings them to within just one. Play Thompson loves delivering in tight spots. How easy does he make that big bucket look? And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a three-point game. Those were pressure-packed free throws. And he looked as cool as he could be. So big to give them that three-point lead. And so it's Boston sweeping by with the win. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Marcus. It is obvious you never mind sacrificing your body to make the big play. How do you lay it on the line physically? Um, just really, you know, uh, influence my teammates. You know, I lead by example. You know, they see the energy I bring, and I just hope it rubs off on those guys. It certainly did tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Oldham. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew. 
thanking you for tuning in. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Robert Williams.